Hi, I'm David Lawrence, and I'm gonna show you how to make one of my favorite recipes, a double cut pork chop with spiced apples and raisins. So the biggest thing about pork is people are always worried that it's gonna end up dry, and there's a couple of ways that you can avoid that. Number one, you don't wanna overcook it. Number two, start off with the brine. Now, if that sounds scary or intimidating to you, it's really not. It's simply a solution of flavored water, and it does two things. It flavors the meat, and keeps it incredibly moist and juicy. So I've got about seven cups of warm water in this bowl. I'm gonna add some salt, about a quarter of a cup of kosher salt. Now I'm putting in just a little bit of brown sugar, some whole peppercorns, some fresh thyme, a couple of sprigs, and then the secret to this is a little bit of apple juice concentrate. So we're gonna let these hang out in this brine, a couple hours if you've got it, up to overnight, and it's gonna make a huge difference in the juiciness and the flavor of these pork chops. So let's talk double cut pork chops. This is my favorite way to do pork chops. There's a couple of things you can do. I've got a whole pork loin here, just a boneless pork loin, which you can get at your meat counter. Or you can become really fast friends with your butcher and ask him to double cut the pork chops for you. Bone in, boneless, doesn't really matter. But if you're going for a quicker cooking cut, you wanna go boneless. So I'm gonna show you, I like these to be a good two inches or so thick. But let me tell you, that is a pork chop. Now, these pork chops are just gonna hang out in this brine, like I said, a couple of hours, overnight if you've got it, and you will be amazed at how tender, juicy, and flavorful these pork chops will be. So now that the pork chops have been hanging out in the brine, I've patted them dry really well, and the reason being is you want a really dry surface area of the meat so it'll sear up beautifully. I've seasoned it with salt and pepper, and I'm just gonna throw these onto a hot grill pan. And like I always say, that sound is music. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Now we're gonna make the spiced apples for these pork chops. I've got a couple of tablespoons of unsalted butter just melting down in my pan. I'm gonna add in three sliced and peeled Granny Smith apples. And I always like to season these up right away with a little bit of salt and pepper. Then I'm gonna take the leaves of a few sprigs of thyme and just strip these off the, the stems and throw them in. So these are looking good. The apples have a little bit of color on them, which is exactly what we want. And now I'm gonna start adding in some flavoring. I'm gonna add a few tablespoons of brown sugar, a little bit of cloves, a little bit of ground cinnamon, a little pinch of dry mustard, some raisins, about a cup of apple juice concentrate goes in. And I'm just gonna bring this up to a boil and then reduce it down to a low simmer and just let it go for a few minutes until it gets really syrupy and thick. Okay, so the apples have cooked down beautifully and the final touch is just a little spritz of fresh lemon juice just to add brightness of flavor. So the pork chop is done and it looks amazing. So I'm gonna spoon over some of these apples. And you know, we've all had pork chops and applesauce and apples and, and pork just naturally go together, but this really, really takes it to a different level. It's perfect for entertaining, it's perfect for a dinner party. That is an awesome pork chop. You guys give this recipe a try and let me know what you think. Get more recipes at goodbite.com.